Welcome to Qashqash. My name is Alexandra Victoria Bond and I want to show you a little bit about this amazing place where I really think you should check out. What we know is that 2020 has taught us to have a better lifestyle and people are coming from the world looking for a better place. Are you tired of traffic jams? Are you tired of stress? Are you tired of living in town, not having outdoor space? You should really have a look at Qashqaish. Only 25 minutes from the center of town, which is Lisbon, 25 minutes from an airport, you are near everything here, yet you're in the countryside. You have that nature living. Since I've been living in Qashqaish for about nine years now, I've made so many friends, lifelong friends. It's full of expats, but also a lot of locals because we know that it's so close to town, yet you have that wealthy history um, and also a healthy place to live. A little bit about the history of Qashqaish. Qashqaish actually used to be a fisherman's village. It was discovered in the 19th century by King Luis of Portugal, who used to reside here in September. During the Second World War, many noble families, European noble families, came to Qashqaish and they used to spend their summers here. Since then, it became a popular destination. We know that since five years ago, when I came here nine years ago, there weren't many expats here. But then five years ago, a huge amount of expats came from all over the world, America, France, UK, everywhere, especially because of the non-habitual residency. So why wouldn't you come here? It's cosmopolitan. Voted by Global Peace, it's one of the safest places in Europe. It's politically stable, it has low crime rate and low manifestation rate. There's also the Portuguese are lovely, respectful, kind people that make it just so easy and most of them do speak English. Education, there's an array of international schools. You actually have over a dozen international schools. You have the Portuguese system, which is fantastic. Whether it's your newborns that are one-year-old, two-year-olds, up to high school, it's amazing. Healthcare system, the clinics are fabulous. You have the COOF, the private clinics, you have the public hospitals as well that are all nearby within five minutes from the center of Qashqaish. Sports, you wouldn't come here if you don't love sports. It's all about the golf courses. There are five major golf courses in this region. Tennis, you have huge tennis clubs. Estoril, one in Quinta de Marinha. You actually have once a year one of the biggest opens. You also have um, surfing, of course, billabong. Why else would you be in Portugal if you don't like to surf and you like the cold water? Paddle boarding, you have hiking, you have horse riding, you've got the regatta, you've got windsurfing, you have yoga everywhere. If you love meditation and mindfulness, Qashqaish is very, very calm and wonderful. If you need a bit more of the modern side, then you do have malls and you do have shopping, but then you do have the traditional Qashqaish center where you have little cute little shops and cafes. You have museums, of course, the Paulo Rego Museum. You have art fairs, you have the marina. Many, many things to do. And then once again, you're just 25 minutes from the center of town. Check it out. The boardwalk. Everyone loves this here. Three kilometers long, it goes from Qashqaish Center all the way to the end of Estoril, which is San Juan de Estoril. Over here, you can see families along the beaches. It's great to get a quick lunch. You've got local fish, grilled fish around here, little bars, little ice cream places. Highly recommend it. You have the train that takes you from Qashqaish all the way into Lisbon. It's a scenic route, it's 25 minutes. Here in Estoril, what we usually look into real estate would be apartments, penthouses overlooking the sea. These can be in the 10,000 euros per square meter range, or else you can find little houses up in the heights of Estoril, nearby the casino. That's very cool as well. If you come closer into Qashqais, then you can have fishermen village houses, quite rare to find, but if you get that opportunity, jump on it. Pastel colors. Fisherman's Town, this is Qashqaish Historical Village. It's absolutely beautiful where you have little ruins looking over the sea. You have the churches, you have museums, you have art galleries, you have little cafes, you can have breakfast, lunch, dinner here. It's vibrant, it's beautiful. One thing that people don't say enough is Portugal and the light. It is super light and bright. Why? Once again, the pastel colors, the architecture, meat, 18th century Portugal. Everyone here wants a house overlooking the water, the little fishermen's houses. These are actually really rare to find. They're not going to have much land, but you can find some four bedrooms overlooking the sea, most likely an apartment or else in the center near the Palo Rego Museum, you can have some little townhouses. That, for example, could be for sale, or that could be for sale.
This is Quinta Menina. Quinta Menina is the Beverly Hills of Portugal. This is where everything is. You have the most beautiful houses here. You're five minutes from the beach. You have the golf courses. It used to be an old farm owned by a family. They split it into two. Mainly you have like plots of land which are around 2,000 square meters. And then you have beautiful contemporary houses. Yes, prices can go up into the 20 million euros, but the average price is 8,000 euros per square meter. You do have cheaper options. That's in the older part of Quinta Menina. Here you have horse riding, you have tennis, you have the racket club, you have swimming, you have the golf courses, you have the beach five minutes away. You can bike or e-bike anywhere here. You do typically need a car if you want to get to the organic shops, for example. Loads have popped up. People love healthy living. It's very much appreciated by expats here, but the locals do love it here too, because you have that nature, that green feeling. I urge you to check this place out. Keep the Menina is beautiful. A very important part of Cascais are the golf courses, of course. This is Oitama's golf course, which is spectacular. It's 18 hole, it gives over the sea, and it's considered to be within the 50th best golf courses in the world. Then you have the Quinta Menina golf course, lake, you've got hotels nearby, you have the Estoril, which is 27 holes, you have Boloda, and you have Peña Longa. So you see how many golf courses you have? You definitely have the choice here. Countryside living. A big reason that I came to Quinta Menina and came to Cascais was for the horses. I'm a super passionate horse rider and my kids now ride here. It's amazing. You have a huge horse center, whether you like dressage or show jumping, there's competitions all year around. You have the Global Champions Tour. You have the Montessori School, which is right here, that kids can come here. You can go horse riding on the beach. And areas here, you have Bire, you have Quinta de Bicuda, you have Areia. It's just really close to Quinta Menina. You can literally bike here. There's the Montessori School, which is in this little reserve. And you have some very cool houses within the one, two million range that are quite affordable and are surrounded by nature. 